problem number 12. So problem itself says evaluate the limit as x approaches negative infinity of e to the x squared plus 1 over x, where x squared plus 1 over x is the exponent. So at first I'm going to deal just with the exponents. So let's look at x squared plus 1 over x. Okay. And when I look at this exponent, I'm going to look at the limit of as x approaches negative infinity over it. So remember when I do this, I divide by the highest degree of the denominator. So I'm going to say the limit as x approaches negative infinity, the highest degree is just x, so I'll have x squared over x plus 1 over x over x over x. So this can be simplified, so this is the same as the limit as x approaches negative infinity. The square cancels with this one, so I'm just left with x plus 1 over x, and the bottom is 1. So when I plug in ne negative infinity, I get negative infinity minus plus 1 over negative infinity. So this is going to go to 0. So all I'm left with is negative infinity. Now I need to put this back in to my e value. So I have e to the negative infinity. And e to the negative infinity is going to be 0 because of the graph. Okay? And that is number, I mean, letter A. Okay? So all I did was evaluate just the exponent, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of just my exponent. I divided by x to the highest degree of the denominator, which is to the power of 1. I divided everything by that. When I did that, I simplified to get x plus 1 over x over 1. And when I use that, when I plug in negative infinity to both of these, I get negative infinity plus 1 over negative infinity. This goes to 0, so all I'm left with is negative infinity. Now be careful not to mark that as an answer because that's also choice B. So you don't want to just do that. You want to make sure that you plug back into your original. So E to the negative infinity is going to be 0.